Well, we're at Bear Branch Sports Fields. Uh, it's the home of Friday Night Nights, uh, Nike South, NXN South. It's our home course. We do work out here every couple of weeks. Uh, today we're going to do 12 quarters or eight quarters for our freshmen. Uh, goal today is simply, we're, I mean, we're shaking off rust. Um, we've been out here a couple times, but none of the None of the workouts are, are the things that we've done here are any faster than any tempo run or pace run that, that we do. So we haven't gone into any true intervals or, or, or anything of the sort. So we're just, um, again, coming out here, it's the first week of school, trying to get into a, a routine, establish a routine, and, and um, just keep the blood pumping. Remember to stay on your pace. Stay on your pace. Everyone remember your times? Yeah, so our first 400 and our last 400, we usually make it faster than the rest of the middle section. So we run, we ran 72 for our tag ends, and then 74, 75 for our, our middle six. Well, you know, for us, we always plan to be competitive deep into a season, into December. So I plan accordingly, kind of arrogantly, plan to be running uh, somewhere in the Northwest uh, in early December. So we. Uh, Structure the workouts that way, uh, so we're still into a, I mean, if you want to call it pre-competitive or even a base type of phase, we're, we're still there and we'll stay there for a little while. Up. Clump up. Don't be spread out by half a meter each time. Clump up together. Clump up in your groups together, Brady. When they're staying together like that, I know, like I said, they're thinking about something else. It's not just about how they feel and, and, and what they want to accomplish that day, it's what the group wants to accomplish. We had a leadership meeting with our top 25 guys uh, a couple weeks ago, and um, if, if serving is beneath you, leadership is beyond you. And when you're in a group, you take on others' goals and you help them succeed. And if, to me, when they're in that group, they're helping others be better. Um, so that just visually, that's some of the things that I look for, not only in workouts, but races. It usually gets tough around the last, the last one. The second one's kind of a mediator and it flies by pretty quickly, but that third one's kind of real. Um, the last two are definitely tough. Especially the last one, we have to drop the pace down to 72. We're about a 70 today. That was pretty tough. In your groups, on your pace. There's no excuses out here, fellas. It ain't easy, it doesn't feel comfortable. It ain't supposed to be comfortable. It ain't supposed to be easy. We have 10 groups. And so all those groups, they're, they're put together by ability. And so within those groups, they know those are the guys I can train with every day. Um, and hopefully they, they take that onto a race day and say, you know what, that means I can race with you or maybe even up a group, you know, and, and just get aggressive with them. So we, we never want guys being selfish and going out and running for them. We always want those groups to have, to have that integrity about them. Um, those older guys, it's great because they can keep the younger guys there, like we said earlier, uh, uh, keeping them calm, keeping them on pace, um, keeping any panic away. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that's just, you know, for us, team is such a big thing. You gotta have it. Uh, and, uh, those smaller groups ensure that that happens. 25. Uh, for the team, we definitely want to, you know, win state again, come back with number 19, uh, and then qualify for NXN again. Really good. Yeah, I can definitely see us pulling that off again. We've got pretty, we've got a good junior class coming up. I think we've got some strength. You now we're going to surprise some people. We don't think about last year's race and and. and in any way, shape, or form, try and link that into what's going to happen this year, or we're going to do great because of last year. Evolution is a real thing in athletics. Every team evolves. Uh, some it's more or less depending on how many seniors you had and how active they were on your varsity. For us last year, they were very active. Um, so there's a lot of holes to fill, but that's exciting. And so those guys walking around the hallways, those young guys who are who are asking themselves, 
Am I good enough? Am I really a varsity guy? Am I really going to be on the Woodlands varsity this year? I've never been counted on before. Well, they have, they have proof now.